Hello, I am Morgan Barajas. I am a gallery associate here at ArtShare LA. And today I am here to talk to you a little bit about our current show, Buzzsaw. So Buzzsaw really came together as a way to honor artist and philanthropist Mark Walsh, who mainly works with metal and found objects. So the gallery committee, they developed this idea to kind of honor these materials that are often overlooked in our society. And with a city like Los Angeles that is constantly under construction and under development, it's easy to overlook these materials that we take for granted but are necessary and foundational to our everyday life. Uh, I want to first talk a little bit about Charles Ormy's work. And he does this thing where I believe it's almost akin to cubism in the sense that it's showing many perspectives of the same figure, of the same subject, but from different angles and different views. But instead of like a cubism painting, instead of seeing it all flat looking at it, this one you actually have to move yourself. And you see like this standing nude figure right here, depending on which way you're looking at it from, you see different, almost different expressions, different, different energies that this gives off. Over here on the opposite spectrum of the materials used, uh, Sita Sar, she uses acrylic and kind of a, a mirror base to create these sculptural pieces that you can pretty much get lost into and dive in, depending on which angle you're looking at. She is actually mixing colors through light. Now these pieces are very intentional. Their materials are gathered and are created and crafted to have a specific piece that was basically invented in their mind. Now on the other side of that, we have a few pieces here that are made completely from found materials. So part of the creation of these pieces was the actual scavenging and finding of the materials and speaking with those materials and seeing the stories they had to tell. Like uh, John Bagley Jr. here has created with his cityscapes made with items found probably throughout the city or throughout the trash or wherever he may have found these things. And some of them are prized possessions that um, craftsmen used to use. And now he has repurposed them in a way to kind of show the origin of where they came from, what they were used to create, but literally with those base materials. Some of these pieces, the found materials that were used, were extremely personal and important to the artists using them, such as in Alison Strauss's pieces. She found a box of keys that her grandmother had left her, I believe, in the attic. And so she started using these and crafting them in, in these beautiful little lanyards and keychains and, and pieces that speak to our, our past and where we come from and what is left for the generation next and these materials that will outlive all of us usually and what they mean and what they can represent to each individual life that it's passed down to. The materials in this show that were used were extremely important to some artists. And as you can see over here in this stunning piece, uh, Jackie Amesquita actually went to the U.S.-Mexico border and gathered this soil and placed it here. So it has a very important meaning to her and a very important meaning to the people that it speaks to, as well as these bundled clothes and the crystals that she grew herself on them, suspended up here. It's this, one, this piece, more than any other, I feel like, really shows the importance of the materials and what they are saying as well. It was, uh, it, was, it was quite amazing to us that so many pieces came with such a strong message, and some very political sometimes, such as uh, Gio's piece right here uh, of a political asylum and his whole journey coming to America and how sometimes you can see this barbed wire around this metal and imposing flag that sometimes it could feel like there is this barrier to get behind, and then sometimes you may even feel trapped within. And it's these dialogues and kind of these conversations that are started through these materials that really sets this show apart, I feel like. And it's uh, definitely worth seeing. So we have actually extended the run for one week. It will be going through June 9th. So if you have not seen it, I greatly encourage you to come on down and experience Buzzsaw for yourself.